Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is John F. Keys. In this video, I'll teach you how to play High Life Prison Keyboard. I'll go ahead and play the progression. Then after some seconds, I'll pause it and break it down for you. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, okay, so I'll be teaching this uh, tutorial on the key of F major, right? Okay, yeah, I'll be using this key for general understanding. So, I played uh, so many progressions here, uh, but I'll only teach one, okay? Yeah, from this one, you can exploit and get others. So, I'll be teaching you this. I played this progression. Right? Yeah, this is what I'll be teaching you. And when there is drums, it will sound this way. All right? Yes, it's a very nice progression. Okay. So this song will fit in, in some of the high life grooves. Uh, okay. Yeah, some of the Igbo high life uh, grooves, uh, such as. Easy chimney, oh gozzy, my gozzy, oh gozzy, all right? For sure, you can also use, an, an, use it and exploit in some other uh, songs like that, okay? All right, all right, so the first step to playing this progression is to do this. That is the first step. So what did I play? This is just mine. Mi, do, sol, la, to. Mi, do, sol, la, to. Mi do so la to, mi do so la to, mi do so la to. All right, this is me, this is do. All right, so la to, so la to. All right, that is the first step to play this progression. I'll break it down so that the beginners and the advanced players can understand. Okay, so mi do so la to. Yeah, that is the tonic server. I also try to be using number pattern for effective understanding, okay? All right, so this is just simply your three, one, five, six. Then you play your six sharp. This is your number six, all right? Then you sharpen it, all right? So, three, one, five, six sharp, all right? So the, the sharp daring is uh, your E flats. Okay, all right. So, but because I'm going forward, I will say it is D sharp. So, well understood. All right, then after this, this is what you are supposed to play the next. That is the second step. All right, so what, what did I play? I played Fare. La do so ti, fa re la do so ti, fa re la do so ti. All right, in number pattern it is four two six one five seven. All right, four two six one six one five seven. All right, so fa re la do so ti. That's for the right, okay? So, if you combine the step one and the step two, you'll get these results. So, what you'll be doing is to be repeating the progression. As simple as that. Very simple, all right? Just follow the instruction. 
we definitely get it. Are you enjoying this tutorial? Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that so that we can proceed. Have you done that? Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's proceed. So, if you add drums to the step one and the step two progression, this is how it's going to sound. As sweet as that. Okay, so uh, not only the right, you also be doing something on the left. So let me show you the a, a very simple bass line you'll be using for this song. All right. <laughs> All right, so I was doing so um it's, it's kind of advanced, but I'll try as much as possible to break it down. All right, this is the first step. Yeah. Okay, so what did I play here? This is a do so la so do fa. Do so la so do fa. All right, pay attention so that you understand it. Uh, is mostly uh, done on the octave for the do, so your hand is going to be like this. Okay, so do the higher the higher octave. All right, do so la so do now the, the lower octave do do. All right, so do so la so do fa. All right, so that is just it. So, do, so, la, so, do, fa, right? Do, la, so, la, do, fa, do, la, so, la, do, fa. So, I, I'm just taking my time to break it down, but why uh, learning don't miss the progression, all right? Well understood. Now nah, for the saw, for the saw part of it, because this is just uh, this one comprises of the one and the four. All right, the one and the four at the same time. Then for the fifth chord, you just play, which is your salty do, salty do. All right, salty. Sorry, sorry for that. Salty do. Be careful so that you don't strike a wrong note. Salty do, salty do. All right. Which is your five seven one five seven one? All right. So do so la so do fa. Which is your one five six five one four for number pattern? Okay. One five six one. Sorry. One five six five one four. All right. Then you, you move to your five seven one. All right. So that is just it. When you join the left and the right hand, this eye is going to sound. I miss something. All right, I miss something. So before you play the the fifth chord, strike your two. Then two so ti do. All right, two so ti do. Anyways, you can still skip it. All right, if you can maintain the progression, but strike the two. All right, which is the rare before you go to your five. Then seven. One. Did you understand? 
like I told you before, uh, for the saw you play uh, so do. But before you play the saw, just strike re so do. All right. That's what I mean. That is what I mean. All right. So that is what I mean. You strike the two, then you go to the five, to the seven, and to the one. All right. So for you to get the left and right, I would advise you practice the left for a long time and perfect the transition. Then you also per you also practice the left for a long time and perfect it. Then you try to join it little by little. All right. So that is just it on how to play high life on keyboard. Right. So when you when you're able to play this, you can exploit uh, some other ideas by extending the progression to something like this. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not. Bye-bye.